Hello YouTube, Triumph Guy here and today we're going to be changing the back box on the Nissan Cube. Bit of an update on the channel, uh, I'm going to be doing some servicing on G-Wagon soon and on this Nissan Cube and on the Spitfire, so stay tuned for that. A couple of things you're going to need is a jack, socket set and some WD-40. But just so you can hear uh, the car, it needs a new back box. Yeah exactly, so yeah it doesn't need changing. So as you can see, really badly corroded and it's actually uh, come off. What I do is I spray these bolts, um, WD-40 about a week before, and then just keep on top of it. And then they should uh, come loose with the heat. I'll give them one final spray um, now before I take them off. Now normally what you'd do is you'd keep this attached to the rubber bungs, uh, because it's snapped clean off there. There's no need to do it. I might as well take these off now and then that'll give me more access to that. So that's now off. The easiest way of getting these things off is uh, putting a bit of WD-40 around there and then using the grip is to put them together. So it should just come straight off. Now obviously normally if it wasn't split then you'd have to undo these bolts first but because it's split we might as well get an easy access. And yeah it's just time to get them and bolts off. Now this particular car is a 15mm, um, if this ratchet doesn't work then what we're going to have to do is put a T-bar on it with an extension. Now a trick I use is T-bar and then put into another bar, the only bar, um, hollow bar I could find was a jack stand. Put that on and then that will give you a bit more leverage. Right now you've got the uh, bolts off, it's a good idea to give this a good clean um, and when I got these bolts off, they were a bit of an issue, so I had to use a um, blowtorch around the bolt um, before I got them off. Uh, it was a bit of an issue, because this one was an absolute nightmare, but yeah, um, just got to keep persevering, and uh, yeah, they'll come off eventually. A bit of a nightmare, but yeah. So now it's time to uh, put the actual exhaust on, so I'm sure you've got all the rubber bungs on. We'll then fit the exhaust onto this, place it onto there, and then tighten up accordingly. So thanks very much for watching, um, please like and subscribe, I will be doing some more on the Nissan Cube, so if you are a Cube owner then please obviously uh, make sure you click that notification button, uh, I'm going to be doing an oil change and some other bits and bobs, uh, we'll basically do a full service on it, and I'm also going to be doing some bits and bobs like some interior neon, so if you are interested in that then yeah, or if you've got a Spitfire obviously uh, stay tuned, and if you've got a G-Wagon obviously stay tuned because I'll be doing all sorts. I'm also going to do bits and bobs on other cars, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. Make sure you comment below. If you get any problems, then uh, yeah, just comment and I'll, I'll answer away. And um, yeah, make sure that you uh, you do the job all right. But yeah, thanks again.